Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? Me? I'm feeling inspired to answer your questions today on Ask Dotto Tech. Ask Dotto Tech is the show where I answer the questions that you deliver to me via YouTube or texting to me or sending me an email. Lots of ways for you to ask questions. I will do my best to answer. This question actually comes from Sophie, my partner's daughter, who just got a new notebook, a new Apple notebook. And when she was setting it up, she had Safari as the default browser and she wanted to know how to switch it to Chrome as many of us do. Uh, so she asked me, and I thought, that sounds like a good question, so I got her to email me the question rather than helping her directly. It's just the nice thing to do, don't you think? At any rate, here it is. Dear Steve, my idea for an upcoming video of yours is to answer the simple but highly debated question, how to change, edit your default browser, e.g. Chrome, Google, Firefox, etc. Thank you, and please get back to me as soon as possible. Well, she's been very patient. Allow me to show you how to change your default browser in iOS or in Mac OS, as well as we will show you how to do it in Windows. On the Mac, I gotta tell you, it's a little bit weird how we actually go about changing the, uh, the browser setting, uh, the default browser. You, there's no place to go and change all the default apps, instead, Apple sends us to Safari, the browser that we probably don't want to use. And <laughs> we have to click on Safari, go into preferences, and there you can change the default by clicking right at the top of the general tab, how to, to, to either keep Chrome or to use Safari at this particular place. Now I've got Chrome already selected, so if I had Safari, I would be doing a switch at this point. <laughs> Back up the bus. As we were editing this, this just kept bothering me. This seemed ridiculous that this was the only way to change your preferred browser. Uh, but it's what Apple had recommended. When you search and when you go to the Apple website, that's how they tell you to change the preferred browser. Uh, but a little bit of a little bit more digging and look what I found in the general settings in system preferences. Default web browser. You can go there and change it, which is just so much more acceptable, don't you think? Sorry to interrupt. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> it's passing strange, is it not, that you have to go into another browser in order to set the default for a different browser. It should be system level, but that's Apple for you. Uh, I never thought I'd actually say this, but Windows is far more reasonable as far as how they deal with this particular issue. And allow me to show you, if you go into Windows 10, for example, just go into your settings, and in the settings, you go into system settings, and there we find, oh, so reasonable, default apps. Scrolling down in the default apps, we'll find our browser. If we click on our web browser, it will allow us to select any of the installed browsers as our default browser. So that's how you do it in both Windows and Mac. By the way, regardless if you have a default application chosen for different file types, you should know that by right clicking or option clicking your mouse on any document on your desktop or in your computer, you can choose to open it with whatever resources are available, whatever resources the system de deems that it can actually open that document with. So you always kind of have an option for regular documents to bypass the default application this way. I hope you found today's video to be useful. If you have any questions for us, please either post the question here on the YouTube channel or drop us an email or even send us a tweet at Dotto Tech. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle. <laughs>